Hello and welcome to the Penguin Rundown. My name is Zach Humphreys. Real quickly, baseball and softball starting their seasons. As far as baseball, they started last weekend, went one of four, so they get their first win on the season. Drew Doche, seven for 14 thus far through these games, and he's two RBIs along with one home run as well. Take a look at softball. They will get underway Saturday in an, up, in an opening tournament. They just had uh, some games canceled to start, so hopefully they get their season rolling. Take a look now at women's basketball. Take a look at the upcoming schedule. And there you see at Loyola, a team very hot right now. They're even right now in the Horizon League standings. We'll take a look at those in a minute. Come back home for Valparaiso and Wright State. Now we flip the script, take a look at those standings. There you see Green Bay uh, beat the Penguins this past weekend in the Crest Center. So they now go to 11-0, Youngstown State and Detroit. There you see tied at 7-3, but the Penguins get the edge. They've beat Detroit once, and they still will meet a second time in the regular season. And now we take a look uh, deeper down there. You see Loyola, very hot right now, 5-5 five five in the conference. But other than Loyola, everybody is under the 500 mark from 5-9. to nine. And let's take a look at Youngstown State men's basketball and what they have upcoming. As we take a look, Central Michigan up next for the Penguins, and then they'll go at Valparaiso and at Wright State to close out the regular season as the men get primed up and ready to go for tournament time. Take a look at the Ramada Bracket Buster for Youngstown State. Central Michigan coming into the Beagley Center. Last time these two teams met up was back in 2006, where the Penguins beat Central Michigan 74-50. to uh, One player to watch for on the Chippewas is Kyle Randall, Youngstown, Ohio native, ranks third in the MAC in scoring at just under 17 points per game. He scored over 2,000 points in high school at Kennedy Catholic in Pennsylvania. Take a look at the Horizon League versus the MAC, and we see that the Chippewas played Wright State back in a tournament early in the season and beat Wright State by four. And as far as Youngstown State against the MAC, they lost against Kent State at home in overtime and were able to beat Bowling Green on the road. And now we take a look at the stat comparison. Well, you thought YSU shot a lot of threes. Well, here's an opponent that will come in having attempted a few more than the Penguins. So we could see a lot of three-pointers fired up in this game. Take a look now at the men's basketball standings, and you see Valparaiso and Detroit. They've been mainstays up in the top there, and Valparaiso right now only a slight advantage in the top spot at 11-3, but there you see the Penguins in the five spot. They're an even 7-7, seven and seven. so we'll see if the Penguins can hang on to one of these top spots and get a home playoff game to start. Now recently we had a group from the Mahoning Valley Special Olympics visit the Beagley Center. Lauren Minnock has more. Members of the Youngstown State Student Athlete Advisory Committee welcomed athletes from the Mahoning Valley Special Olympics to the Beagley Center for a special evening of fun and basketball on February 15th. Prior to the Gwyn's contest against Milwaukee, the YSU athletes played various games and interacted in many ways with the group in the back lobby of the arena. More than 25 Special Olympians came to campus on that evening. I guess it's, it's a way for us to reach back to the community. Um, it's a way for them to see that, hey, we, we, do, we support them, we're, we're a fan of theirs, and we admire uh, what they're doing and with, with the struggles they go through. I mean, they, they might, they probably get ridiculed by people made fun of, but we're here to say, hey, we support you. We, we, um, we're a fan of yours, and we're here to lift you up, uh, speak spot positive things back into you guys' lives. So, I mean, and it helps us too. I mean, it kind of humbles us in, in a way to say, hey, we're blessed, and it's, it's a way to just help them out. At halftime, the Special Olympians came down from the stands onto the court and shot baskets. The group had a great time, but YSU student athlete hosts also took a lot away from the event. They all seem to love it. They all cheer. They love cheering with the cheerleaders. They like learning more about the game because they play it themselves. And at halftime, they get to go down on the court and play it. And they like really like all the attention that the crowd gives them. So. This is a really fun night. The Penguins won the game that night and everyone had a wonderful experience. The YSU AAC had the chance to get to know, respect, and relate to the athletes who are part of the Mahoning Valley Special Olympics. They look forward to having them return to Youngstown State in the future. 
And thanks to Lauren for that report. And remember, you can follow the Penguins on Twitter. It's at YSU Sports. You can log on to YSUSports.com. Find all your Penguins athletic news there as well. My name is Zach Humphrey saying so long until next week here on the Penguin Rundown.